Uh, yesterday we saw President uh, uh, William Ruto here. It has not gone down well with uh, your colleagues in Nazimio who feel that maybe his presence here might influence the outcome this afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. Um, first and foremost, the visit yesterday. I, I think there wasn't much to that visit apart from the usual practice of His Excellency the President. He likes visiting people. He likes interacting with us. And uh, maybe as me or people do not know, whenever he calls us for a PG that takes two days, the night before, we actually spent almost the entire night around a fireplace where we are enjoying some warmth. And we are able to talk to him one on one. And I'm 100% sure that yesterday, he just felt that he needed to talk to members of parliament. Let him just get in here. He must also be missing this place. Let me get in here, see what they are doing and what they are eating, and I can share a plate with them. It has absolutely nothing to do with the ruling we expect this afternoon. Because we also believe that uh, our speaker, the Honorable Moses Wetangula, is a seasoned lawyer. He's been here for a long time. He doesn't work under influence. He took some of the best arguments from both sides. All the lawyers who spoke, they told him what the legal position is. So we expect an impartial ruling this afternoon. And he cannot be influenced by a visit by the head of the executive just like that. Mushima, just to cut you short, I remember that uh, during uh, on Tuesday, during uh, members uh, submitting uh, from Azimio and Kenya Kwanza, we saw that Azimio tabled a letter from the Registrar of Political Parties and a writ indicating that uh, they are the majority. Where does this leave it here? And unfortunately, and unfortunately, the letter didn't say they are the majority. What it did was to state at that particular time how the parties had fared in the election.